Welcome to another week of qualifying. We have the Formula One British Grand Prix, the home of motor racing this weekend. Hopefully, will lead to a very good race. Nico Hulkenberg is our 20% boosted driver, as well as the Wasp and Icon V3. What are we running? Well, Nico Hulkenberg, max level 8. Obviously, he's a Series 6 part, and all we ever do is race below Series 8. And then for the car, we're not actually going to use Wasp because it doesn't give me any benefit. Neither does Icon Free. So it'll just be Nico Hulkenberg to come. What tracks have we got in qualifying? Silverstone, Spa, Barcelona and Silverstone again. So hopefully we can score some big points. Let's get at it. Race number one, Silverstone. Here we go then in Silverstone for race number one. 50% chance of rain. And from my understanding already, this could be some wet weather to dry weather changing conditions. So let's have a look. But we've got a dry qualifying. And level 8 Hulkenberg starts P12. So that's very nice indeed. Now I'm going to use a bit of Herald. I want the race start. That's the big thing that I want from him. And I'm going to use Copper on Hamilton. So obviously Hulkenberg, great qualifying, poor race start. So I'm trying to do everything I can to give Hulkenberg the best. And look at that, 24 seconds until we move to dry conditions. Hulkenberg, can he get to a good start? He does. He finally gets out of the sticking wheels on the track and moves himself into P7. Hamilton P11 and Hulkenberg still moving through now beautifully. Can he go up the inside of Max? Not quite. And now this is going to dry very quick. What do you do? I definitely got another lap in me here. I'm going to hold back Hamilton. As Hulkenberg gets P2. Brilliant move by him. See if we can get another one as well. We can. We can get Hulkenberg into P1. That's a beautiful run for him. I don't think this is going to... Ah, what do you do? I think if this is 20 seconds, we stay on wets. We are. We're going to stay on wets. That's the best approach here. We're going to do a 3-4, I reckon, is the play at the moment. We should be able to do that nice and easy. And now we've got a safety car just to make matters worse. And that has come out at the wrong time, you could argue. Because we were about, we could have about the pit next lap. And yeah, now this plays up with the strategy. We've got to keep an eye on the weather. We don't want to pit this lap anyway. We do want to hold. But... It's going to start getting dry again in probably about 40 seconds. That's probably when we do pass the pits. So hopefully you're watching this video before you start racing. Because if you are, you're going to have a big advantage knowing that this wet weather to dry weather changing conditions is going to be coming. As we're about halfway around. So we've got rain now. Then it's going to start getting dry, and then it's going to get wet again. So lap four pit, which we don't usually want to do, is going to be the one that we have to do in this circumstance. So can we can we get the 47? That would be a very nice start for Nico Hulkenberg and Lewis Hamilton. So we're about to get racing. We're going to have nobody pitting from our section. We're going to boost both drivers. And here we go. Definitely think wet tyres at the end of this stint. That is key. As Hamilton gets into P5. Having a look at the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc and the Red Bull of Max Verstappen takes both in a matter of corners and also gets Lewis Hamilton. So P1 and P2 now. We're going to have to go for wets. You can see we're pushing Hulkenberg as hard as we can to try and get 
a bit of gap. And he's going to do that quite nicely as well. Just going to come to the end of his tyres. Let's push now Hamilton. We might double stack a little bit. Or will we? No, we won't. It's absolutely perfect as Nico Hulkenberg comes back out. What about Lewis Hamilton then? He's got one car to find, and that car is ahead of him, Lando Norris, doing five laps on the wet tyres. And we should be good to go. We've got Hamilton already right behind Lando, his fellow Brit. And this should be make light work at the end of this. He's about to run out as well. And we are now through. We're in till P1 and P2. Managed this quite nicely and a safety car to help. We've got two laps to go and it's going to stay wet for these two laps by the look of it. No need to pit. And that's what we like to hear. Norris comes back out P4. Rivals back out P14, P20 at the moment. So the bot is finding it a little bit more difficult, but we've managed it well. We've got rain again, 30 seconds. Wet tyre was the best one for us to be on. And Nico Hulkenberg first thrown in to the hot seat this weekend. And he's going to pick up a win ahead of Lewis Hamilton. Unless Lewis Hamilton has got something to say about that. Last lap. And it is going to be a 47 start. We've used Herald for the race start on Hulkenberg because his race start is not great. Hamilton's obviously race start is pretty good. Anyway, so last few corners through Maggots and Beckett's and Hulkenberg on his way to victory. Hamilton's chasing. But for as a WF1, the main thing is that we score some big points and Hulkenberg comes along to win in first place with Lewis Hamilton taking up P2 for a nice start, 47 points. Race two at Spa then, dry race. So definitely not expecting the 47 points that we just got, I can assure you of that one. But let's give it our best and we can get some decent points, I feel, from this one as well. P13 Hulkenberg, P19 Hamilton. So... Difficult start for him, and we're going to go Street Shark for both. Bit of speed, race start being pivotal. Can we get a good race start? That's the difference. So, let's boost away. Hamilton gets a perfect race start, but what can he do with it? And I'll tell you what, he gets past that nice bunch of cars there. Hulkenberg, you can see, slowing based on that awful race start that he's got stat-wise. So there we go, we carry on down and we'll probably be using Hulkenberg now. We was going to do a 1-3-2 on Hamilton, but for the fact that Hamilton's got ahead early on, we're definitely going to bring these through. So we're going to go mediums, we're going to use a bit of power unit just to make a few extra positions. And look at that, we can certainly make these extra positions. As we then conserve down the straight, so P9 and P10... That's a pretty good start, if I say so myself. And the Aston Martin, we're going to make an even better start. P7, P6, P5. Lewis Hamilton, brilliant. Hulkenberg comes back out. And he's not done too bad there to get out in P19. And we've got Hamilton chasing. Chasing hard. Hamilton on Hamilton. And he's been a pretty tough customer right now. We, I, I don't think Hamilton knows how to pass his own self. And now he does. He's through. P4. And we're going to come into the pits this lap. Doing a 2-2-2 two, two, two with Lewis Hamilton. We've got Nico Hulkenberg doing the 1-3-2. That's Hamilton. See, slowing down on the pits. And Hamilton's got really chocker block in here. He's going to come out P10. Not a great, great start for him. But a lot of pit stops ahead and there's only one car ahead. 
which is on the same tyres as us. These two are on the similar strategy now as well. Let's see if we can just close on Ocon. We can, P9. And Hulkenberg, P13. 16 seconds covers the lead. We're not going to catch them. We might catch Lewis Hamilton in fourth. That's going to be the aim. As Carlos Sainz ahead of us. We now get past. Hamilton's coming out. We said we could maybe jump Hamilton. We are. We're going to jump the Red Bull as well. Hulkenberg comes out ahead of Ockham. And let's see if we can get past Norris. Norris on the softs. We'll have a little push. We're not going to have too much power unit at the end of this. And we're through. Good moves all around there. And Hawkenberg's not got modes of tyres. <laughs> Norris comes back through. And we're going to then pit on lap number four. So in comes Lewis Hamilton and Norris. And just at the end of his tyres comes Hawkenberg as well. Norris is already out. Hamilton is now out. And it hasn't worked great, this strategy, I don't think, for Nico Hulkenberg. But we're going to overtake Gasly in the pits. Interesting, <laughs> to say the least. As we've got Fernando Alonso and a Red Bull in front of us. And we get, well, we thought we had Fernando Alonso there. We still thought we had Fernando Alonso. And we get neither. How do we not get any of them? I will never know. But into the last corner, Alonso pits. We're stuck behind Sergio Perez at the moment. Not for much longer. P5 we take. We've got Hulkenberg moving past. A nice car there. P4, P3, P2 all ahead of us. We're going to boost Hulkenberg now as well. Any more positions that we can make, please. How about Norris? Thank you very much. How about Hawkenberg as well? Thank you very much. P3. I don't think we're going to get P2. We're really trying. We're really motoring with Lewis Hamilton. We've got Hawkenberg trying to get past Lewis. Not going to happen, I don't think. Can we get him into the last corner? Up the inside. What a great race. P7 for Nico Hawkenberg. And that is going to be a fantastic 40 points at spa race number three comes from spain zero percent chance of rain and a good chance for 40 plus points it's probably one of the best tracks on the game for scoring decent points at and it's all by doing a 3-3-2 and a 4-4 so hamilton p17 hulkenberg p8 great qualifying by nico hulkenberg we're going to do the race start on him and we're going to do the Cuppa as normal on Hamilton. So brilliant qualifying. Up from P13, I think it was last race. So we'll have plenty of more where that come from, from Nico Hulkenberg. And he gets a good start, so he won't be hurt too much by that. Hamilton could have done with perfect, though. And you can see now Nico Hulkenberg making his way through. And so is Lewis Hamilton. We'll keep on boosted. And hopefully we can sneak in to the lead of this race if we keep pushing. We've got the Ferrari ahead of us. And that is the last car that we need to pass to take the lead. We'll keep boosting and we'll take the lead just like that. So P1 and it's going to be P7, potentially P6. Brilliant from Lewis. And now we need to conserve, which means they might just... Pass us a little bit easier. What we got around us hard. So Charles Leclerc shouldn't really get past us. But you never know. And we're in some pretty good placing at the moment. Carlos Sainz really racing hard. What's he on? He's on the soft. So I'm not too bothered about losing that position. As Norris absolutely flies past us. On the hard tyre. Interesting. How that works. And then Hulkenberg will bring into the pits this lap. 
We'll conserve down the straight. We've got plenty of tyres on our side. There's Leclerc trying to get past. It was Perez on the softs who got past us. And the hard tyre of Norris was on the softs as well. So that's why they got past pretty quickly. Us, we're about to come in the pits. We'll boost in. And all three of us out front are going to be pitting. Let's see if we can just boost Lewis Hamilton past a couple of cars here. He gets past Perez, who's pitting anyway. Hulkenberg coming back out. And we're going to pit this lap. We're going to try and get through here. We are. We're going to get P2, P1 now. And Lewis Hamilton takes P2 as well. If only we can keep that to the end as the red ball comes back past us. And Verstappen has a go, but pits Hamilton. So, the 4-4, hopefully will work okay. We're going to come out of the pits and where do we feed back in? We're not going to be ahead of this Ferrari, I don't think. Nope. And I've probably mucked up the uh, boost star out of the pits there as well. But Hamilton, back into P10. Hulkenberg minding his own business out front. And we've got a fair few amount of pits to come. As Hamilton gets Bottas P9 without any boosting as well. Let's push Hulkenberg to come in as well. Don't need to service. And down the straight we go. P7 just comes out. You just saw that ahead of us. But Hawkenberg's in and Hawkenberg is clear. What's Hamilton out on? Medium tyres. But we're just going to still hold. We're we doing okay. Hawkenberg's gone. Hawkenberg, we don't have to worry about in this race any longer. We've got a couple of pit stops coming in now as well. P4 is just coming out. We're going to pass P4. Let's push now with Hamilton. What have we got ahead? Mediums and hard tyres. If we can get past Hamilton fairly quickly here. We can't. Of course we can't. Now we can finally get past and we can see the Ferrari ahead of us. And Hulkenberg. Can we claim... 47 points. We can get... Oh, we nearly got the Ferrari there, didn't we? And that Ferrari absolutely accelerates away from us. And how do we nearly lose P4? But back through we go. P, We can see P2. There for the taking. Surely we're going to get Hulkenberg here. Yes, we do. The last couple of corners to go, we've took it. Hulkenberg has won, but we have scored a big 47 points in Spain. We had to work hard for it, but in the end, it was well worth it. A 3-3-2 and a 4-4 doing the absolute treat. So we're back at Silverstone for race number four, the final race of qualifying. And it's been one of the best performances that I've put in so far. Last time here... Changing weather and a safety car. But what do we get this time? Hulkenberg smashing it up in P11. Hamilton P20. Potentially a dry race to come. So we're going to do... Two, do, do, what do we do? I think we can go freeze here. And I think we can do mediums here. I think we can put these both on the same strategy. A 3-2-2 two, two, rather than doing a 2-2-3 two, two, or 2-3-2. Two, but let's see, Hulkenberg needs a good start. Hamilton should get a good start. It's fast. It's not perfect, but it's fast. Hulkenberg then, come on. And I said these two can go on separate strategies because they're so far apart. Yeah, well, guess who's fairly close to each other now as Hulkenberg gets hit from behind, hit from behind again. It's like bumper cars at the fair. And these two now are on right next to each other on the same strategy. So that worked a treat, didn't it, guys? Absolutely. Let's try and push Hulkenberg to see if we can get a few extra positions though. Down into this first 
couple of corners into the new lap. We're going to try and push though. And we do get we do get a few cars there to help us on our way. So P2 for Nico Hulkenberg. P1 Carlos Sainz on the soft tyres. And now we're going to have to trust as Lewis Hamilton tries one up the inside. Just take our time here. No, I'm okay if we lose a position. We're not going to there. But I might do a 3-3-1 free, free with Nico Hulkenberg. Because I need to get them out of the same pit zone. In comes the Ferrari. In comes Nico Hulkenberg as well for the rival. And we now take the lead of this race with the Red Bull right behind us. So let's push. Hopefully we can keep Verstappen at bay. We can at the moment. Let's push Hamilton a little bit, shall we? See if we can just make a couple of positions down into this first corner. We can get Norris. We can get the Ferrari. Yes, we can. And Hulkenberg flying now. We're going to use 3-3-1 free, free here just to get him off the same strategy. And in he comes. Brilliant strat by him. Hamilton will come in as well. And you can see the Ferrari not anywhere near Hulkenberg. Can we get out ahead? Looks like we can. And we are now cruising with him. Hamilton gets ahead of Alonso. That's crucial. A lot of cars are going to be pitting probably lap four. We're going to boost Hamilton initially. See if we can get a few places. Perez slams the door on us. But not for much longer as we come through. Can we get through these? Big Q. And who's that Q behind? <clears throat> Bunch of hard tyres. So we're just going to hold the PU right now. As Norris will look to potentially pit, I think, at the end of this. So will Perez. And Norris doesn't. Norris goes on, but we nearly get him. And now we've got it all to do. So let's push with Hamilton. Trying to get past Hamilton as well. And we're going to get a few positions here. But still got a lot to do though in this race. So let's see if we can get past Hawkenberg. We can. We need to try and create a little bit of a gap. We can now create that gap to come into the pits for a quick pit stop. Hawkenberg's all good out front. Let's push him in actually and get some softs on him. Hamilton's coming out. Where does he feed back? P8. Round the outside, can we do it? Not quite. Down the straight we go, we'll leave him pushing. We do get P6, P5, look at that, for a move by Lewis Hamilton. Brilliant. We've got hard tyre pitting in front of us. And we can have Hulkenberg out, no problem. P4. We've got P3 and P2 to try and chase down. Hard tyre is one of them at least. But can we get the job done? We're trying. We can see them both right there. Nico Hulkenberg is going to win this race nice and easy. Let's push now with Hamilton. Hulkenberg does win. And here's Hamilton right on the back. Can we get at least P3? Job done, we can. We're not going to get P2. We gave it a great go, though. And there is P2 just in the distance. And it is going to be that very solid 46. And what a round of qualifying do you have witnessed? Obviously, some decent qualifying by Hulkenberg. But overall, it's been pretty much the best I could do. I haven't left any more points out there. Spa, we did the best. That was the track where we dropped the biggest points. But 46 points is done and dusted for qualifying. Let me know down below how you've got on today. And let's have a look where we sit. So, done and dusted. And we've put in a 
Phenomenal performance there. 180 points. Wow. Some nice tracks as well. So 47 and then a 40 in Spa and then 47 and 46 in qualifying to finish off our best performance and one that I am very happy with. Like I said, let me know down below how you've got on and we'll look forward to some very good racing next at the weekend. And also remember, free to play is getting better and better. So make sure to tune in on Friday for qualifying.